get a tan because rust a little bit or running her all around. Yeah, uh, we going. Well, no, you should. <laughs> I've been here for a few days. Yeah, so and just enjoying the town. First I go uh, Comic Con or first New York Comic Con. <clears throat> we did San Diego earlier this year in July, but yeah, first time here. First NYCC. We did SDCC. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Nice. Well, can you guys start off by telling us a little bit about your characters? Mm -hmm, sure. I play Ace, and he washes dishes at the diner where Nancy and her friends work. Um, he's also a local and sort of keeper of the town lore and history and legend. And um, when the group gets into this pickle with a, a mystery at hand, they, um, Ace is there to help him. Uh, so, can you tell us about how you got cast in the project? I haven't told you about Nick yet. Yeah, so oh, okay. Don't you, you, you want to hear about Nick? I want to hear about Nick. Thank you. I want to hear about Nick. Tell me about Nick. Me too. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're calling him Nick in this first start. So his, his name is Ned Nickerson, but he, he goes by Nick. Uh, and he's he's an out of towner. Um, he's coming from out of town, and he's got a wee bit of a history to him. And he's he's in a, a complicated physical and emotional relationship with Nancy. Short and sweet, because this gentleman wants to move on. He want to know about Nick. Fine. Thank you for calling, gentlemen, just by my, myself here. But I was curious about how you got cast. How's the casting process, the audition process? I, I think it was just a regular kind of uh, auditioning and testing, and you know they like you, and everything goes well. And I got the email with Nancy Drew. I grew up reading Nancy Drew books, so that was a nice kind of nostalgic kind of uh, blast from the past that came through, and I was very excited about it. And it, it went well, and testing, and then you know you get the job. And and you meet these guys and it's a fantastic bunch of people and it was it was great yeah and just the first audition then they keep whittling it down and hopefully you keep getting called back and then all of a sudden you show up in Vancouver and you're on set and how was your reaction uh, when you first read the script First reaction. I mean, as as I said, it was it was very nostalgic for me, and it was kind of it was very it was very pleasant getting a Nancy Drew kind of the history that comes with Nancy Drew and the kind of fan base and the excitement that comes with just having a Nancy Drew project. It's kind of all there, but then the script is also fantastic. I think they did a very good job, kind of. Um, for want of a better word, humanizing these kind of iconic characters on the page. They, they read like people, they read very much kind of uh, complex emotional people, so it was great to, to read that and the dialogue kind of flowed very nicely and it's been very, an interesting world, kind of meaty world to get into. Did you both uh, read the books? Yeah, as I say, I, I read a couple of books growing up. No. <laughs> I didn't read them. I keep, <laughs> keep getting that question. <laughs> Can't lie. <laughs> you need to. Well, I mean, you said your character kind of helps Nancy a little bit, but <clears throat> also you're helping the police. And I was wondering if you guys could kind of talk about your own character's you know, journeys and mysteries. I Have mean, you seen the pilot? Yeah, well, I watched yeah. the first two episodes. Oh, wow. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. I just saw it because I was wondering there's more to Ace than. Yeah, you're kind of working with the police. You're kind of yeah, what's having a backstory on? with Tiffany. Can you kind of give us a little tidbits about your journeys and mysteries? Well, I mean, ambiguously enough, <laughs> he's there to help solve the case. So I guess, yeah, Nancy and her friends, but also maybe the police want to solve the case too. So I'm just, we're helping. He's a helper. Yeah. <laughs> just very helpful. Uh, yeah, Nick's, Nick's complicated, and I suppose we'll, uh, I can't give too much away, but he has he has deeper ties to the horse bay, Horseshoe Bay community than he maybe lets on initially, uh, and that kind of is is a lot it's heavy for him you know he has a complicated past but also very much affects his presence and his future with Nancy and how that affects their relationship is kind of uh, interesting shall we say so, yeah. We're on eight. We're filming. We're filming eight. Uh, eight is fifteen right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, is there something in the, in what you've already shot? Is there a moment, a scene that you can't wait for the fans to see? Something pivotal. I think. I think the ghosts. I think we've, we're, we're taking a very kind of genuinely supernatural, um, which is slightly different from the books, where the ghost always turns out to be, you know, some dodgy guy in a mask, um, <laughs> yeah. whereas they're legit in ours. Um, yeah. So hopefully the fans respond very well to that, and that'll be very exciting to see that kind of whole different supernatural side to what we're doing with them. Yeah, and I wasn't sure what the supernatural, the degree to which the supernatural element would be a part of the show when we first started, and I've seen a few 
it's in a few little things that are genuinely disturbing and so it's I'm excited to see what they've put together from yep. the shot it seems really cool yeah, I'm a little, a little creepy <laughs> It gets creepier and yeah, creepier yeah. and creepier. I watched it like really late night, but right, wait, yeah, are yeah. your characters gonna get to spend more time together? I mean, you guys are yeah. For the first two episodes, you're very kind of apart. Yeah. Will you guys get to have more relationships moving forward? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We have more involvement for sure. Yeah, definitely. The whole gang kind of we all get more entwined in each other's lives by by necessity more than anything else. But yeah. Yeah, we do. There'll be more Nick yeah. and Ace. Come into screens near you. Fun stuff. Right. You want less neck, right? You don't want neck. No, 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 no. I guess my question is: uh, Are there a lot of mysteries, oh, or is this all, like self-contained episodes, or are we talking about one big mystery that gets solved at the end of the season? Uh, uh, there is uh, there's one big span season-spanning mystery that kind of takes the whole kind of all those episodes to evolve. But there's also within that there's a lot of uh, sub mysteries and sub stories. Yeah, little, little checkpoints yeah. you have to keep, you know. And more than anything, you find you find out more about these guys, right? You find out more about our past and our history and yeah. what we're all about. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it.